After shooting some videos for our NASA project, exploring the sand dunes in Lancelin and enjoying Sandy Cape, we headed further north. What a way to go What we don't know isn't worth a dime And we need them all I know you're the worrying kind Is there any way Or do you We have an amazing camping spot here uh, next to the beach It's called uh, Flat Rocks it's about 30 minutes from um, Geraldton and we decided to spend a couple of days here because we have everything here that we need. We have uh, plenty of water from the town, we have uh, sunlight and we have the solar out so we can um, charge the batteries uh, of the laptops. What I forgot to mention is that it's also a toilet just about 15 meters from here. But this is the only spot where you actually get reception, so we have internet. So that's why we are camped here on this little uh, dune instead of the main area which is behind us. Um, but yeah, it's a great spot. amazing here but the mornings are very cold. Look what I found. Small Eskimo. This memorial is dedicated to the 645 men who lost their life on Adria Sydney 2 as it was returning from the Second World War in 1941 and got into a battle with a German raider. If you look at this pool, at the bottom you can see the shore of WA and where the seagull touches the water, that's where the ship is. about to leave Australia and arrive to Hot River Province, which is a micro-nation inside Australia. This is the national flag of the Hot River Principality. You can see a bull head in the middle. In front of it there is a wedge-tail eagle and in the eyes there is also the symbol of justice and um, the wedge-tailed eagle comes from the first series of stamps the principality had. The 70, 75 cent stamp had the wedge-tail eagle. Where is it going? To Hungary.
you see this line next to me? These are uh, a bunch of caterpillars walking towards the uh, bushes. They're so interesting. Um, someone counted them and there are uh, 117 of them marching in one line. Now. Yay! I think we should find a nice camping spot and enjoy the beach. After a little snack and uh, the fun times on the beach, we drove up to the hill. We saw a trek uh, to a lookout, and this bit is um, just amazing. We just arrived to our camping spot uh, south of Denham in Shark Bay area uh, and the camping spot is called uh, Eagles Bluff and it's beautiful We put the solar out and now we are just preparing some uh, quick snacks and enjoy uh, the scenery. What's for snack? You can either have hummus with cucumber mm. or mozzarella with tomato. Oh, sounds good. Or all of them. It's around 7 a.m. and of course the weather, the bad weather has reached us, but it only rained for about 10 minutes during the night. And even though the sky is full of big clouds, we can still see the sun coming up just now. Today we are planning to visit the Franz Aperon National Park. And looking at the map, uh, mostly it's just four wheel drive tracks. There is two tracks or maybe less than that. Um, and we are planning to spend the night at Big Lagoon Camping. So today we need to book that in the information center. just came out from the Department of Parks and Wildlife uh, in Denham and uh, we handed in a, a form so now we can uh, fly in the national parks of uh, France Aperon and Steve Point. Permission has granted. So we just need to fill out uh, a two-page form that you can find in the description if you want to fly in the national parks and you have to specify uh, which national park, propose itinerary and uh, they were very friendly. On our way to Francis uh, Perron National Park, we just stopped at a um, little lagoon. We currently see uh, an emu in little lagoon. If you are coming up to Francis Perron National Park, make sure to check out uh, the Perron Homestead, which is home to a uh, Nice hot tub. It's an artisan water, so yeah. It's super hot, it's very cool. It's warm. <laughs> yeah. 
It's like the water on Iceland. Head. Cool. It's very hot. I check the temperature somewhere. This is the first stop that we see where you're actually re required to reduce your tire pressures and also have like different signs in um, German, Japanese, Italian and French about how the tire pressure affects your car. There's a little dog saying uh, the current pressure is 30 at that time. We just arrived to the northernmost point of uh, François Perron National Park. It's called Cape Perron. Just checking out the view. To be honest, this is like a seriously wow moment for me. Like having the dunes right next to the uh, Indian Ocean is just, um, well, technically bay. Sorry, bay. It's amazing. It's beautiful. This is another thing that I always wanted to see, a beach with red sand on it. It's beautiful. Look at that view. Amazing, isn't it? just arrived to Big Lagoon and um, well it doesn't exactly have a beach it has a lagoon and the water is clearish but it's full of um, uh, plants so I don't think we're gonna swim here Seems like that um, the more we travel, the better we get at actually picking camping spots and also enjoying our evenings because today we are here before sunset, so we can watch the sunset from from the deck. Uh, there are these really super cool um, bar chairs, and you have an amazing view from them. So that's where we're gonna. Where's the sunset from? Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. See you next week.